This is Bottomless Pit. What the fuck are you doing? I, it's the holidays. I thought I would, like, pull a Mabel. See, I got, like, the ugly sweater with the... Actually, it says, Take Me Gnome tonight. So, it's very... You know what? Shut up! I'm in the spirit. Now, here. Plug me in. I, I, I won't plug you in. I'll, I'll give you the means, but not actually do it. All right, you ready for this? Ah, uh, it didn't work. Oh, uh, let's, let's see that again. Yeah, there, there you go. Ha-ha! You're the complete package. <sighs> so, I, I, are you just uh, gonna, you, like... You yeah, know, if you not? sit back, you're gonna, like, destroy your that's, back. You're that's gonna, why like... I'm not gonna sit back. <laughs> oh, wait, should I do the waddles thing as well? That's... that really is adorable. Mm-hmm. Uh, adorably terrifying, which is just the Rob experience. It's just adorably Here, terrifying. Here, waddles. <laughs> yes. Appa waddles. Okay. So, what? You Mabel's my favorite character. I can enjoy <laughs> in the Christmas spirit, even. Not with Appa. It's a different show. It's a different vlog show, damn it. They, well, then get a freaking waddle for Christmas, okay? I'll get you one for fucking Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anywho. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Bottomless Pit. And uh, this is. Uh, oh, first of all, what's at the opening is. Um, <laughs> So she doesn't say, like, Rob across there. <laughs> I know. I and I see, I if, if you wore it inside out, it'd say Boar, which is more appropriate. I, oh. Yeah, I went there. Shazam, boy. Yeah. You know what, Dipper? Just because I'm in the spirit doesn't... Oh, wait. I, I mean, you know what, Doug? <laughs> Just... <laughs> that makes me want to cry. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> so, Well, that's, let's actually get to the episode. Uh, first of all, the message at the end is... Uh, it says, next up, Footbot 2, Grunkle's Revenge. <laughs> which, why would he want revenge? He won the football bowl, right. which he... Uh, that, that makes me think, because he says, like, the football bowl and... Like, here's the football bowl, big trophy with the footballs. I'm wondering, because you see him watching that old black and white chick flick. I'm wondering if, like, he's ever actually seen a game of football. And, like, he's just saying to himself, like, this is what guys like, so this is what I should like. I don't know. Because um, he never said Super Bowl or anything. He just said well, football bowl. And all that stuff, obviously, is, like, someone who has never actually watched football. <laughs> While on the subject, um, I will say we're stupid. Because, like, of course, since we filmed these uh, two weeks ago, I think we started. Yeah. And they've been, more than that, three three or four weeks ago, and they've been running now for about a week and a half. Everything. It stands for Great Uncle Stan! It's Great Uncle Stan, goddamn you! <laughs> like, well, no, so, so somebody wrote, yeah, somebody sent me a thing that's just like, you know, you know, they said it in this line, and they post the line, it's like, I'm surprised you missed that, and it's like, you know, maybe the second line in the whole thing is like, we're going to a place called Gravity Falls with our great uncle Stan, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's it. I mean, that's like the one thing we have. And it's like, yeah, okay, we missed it. But it's like one line that goes past really, you know, really quick. So Hon I, honestly, I like our theory better. I like Grumpy better, I, too. Yeah, I like Grumpy Uncle Stan a lot better because it's way more descriptive of what he is. But And they never yeah, specifically so we say We get it. What, it's but. Grumpy Uncle Stan. Or it's Great Uncle Stan. Should be Grumpy Uncle Stan. It's Great Uncle Stan. And because this will be probably premiering, what, five, six, seven days from now? <laughs> Something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'll just sit here and have to read another seven days <laughs> of It's Great Uncle Stan! Yeah. Yeah. It won't be as bad as the one saying, you know, that time traveler was in the episodes. It's like, shit. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> that was let's my fault. Some, I was trying to look in the background. Let's make something very clear. Because people have gone to my Facebook and it's like, you know, the time traveler guy appeared to me. And I'm like, don't look at me. This is the first time I've no, seen I should have caught that. This is the absolute first time. I wasn't even looking for any of that. I'm like trying to find stuff he in the background too. should have too, told me I about totally it. missed that. Totally missed yeah. it. But I, I found some interesting stuff in this one. Uh, not much, but some interesting stuff. Uh, all right, so they fall down this bottomless pit. They're getting rid of stuff they don't want. 
and they Which fall was down. one of the best Mabel lines ever. Just my mysterious box of personal secrets. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they fall down it and they get bored. So they decide to tell stories. And it's kind of an anthology uh, of stories. And one is about Dipper's voice, which is very appropriate. We've made fun of that voice for not made fun of. But, you want to you know, you know what the ultimate about. irony is? This is literally the first episode where his voice from the get go didn't bother me. And then it's all about how weird his voice is. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten used to it at last, and then they're pointing out how weird his voice is. I'm like, oh no, come on. Right when I get it, did they plan it that way? Because seriously, I'm just finally just like, you know what? You know what? The voice is alright. Is that it? And I'm just like, and now they're making fun of it. <laughs> So he, he goes to the crazy old man, McGrucket or whatever his name is, uh, who's still an inventor, which it, this is like watching it a second time. Like him being an inventor actually does come into play uh, later, which is, it's neat seeing them set this up. Uh, who gives well, him this magic? He was an list. inventor to begin with. He did build a giant. Sea no, no, no. I know, but it's something where it's like. It's not like just a hobby, like, oh, hey, isn't it funny? He's an inventor. There actually is a backstory to it they get to uh, later. Uh, um, but so he has this, uh, he gives him this voice uh, potion or, or, or scientific whatever. And sounding suspiciously like a cross between Lionel, Space Ghost, and Gary Owens. <laughs> yes. Uh, Gary Owens was Space Ghost. Um, but we actually thought it was Gary Owens, but then we were just like, is he even still alive? We're not Wait, was sure. Was Space Ghost on Space Ghost Coast to Coast? No, 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 he was the original Space Yeah, Space the Ghost. original Space Ghost. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and we, we looked it up. The guy's just like, he's just some sort of, you know, voiceover artist. It drove me like nuts because I thought, wow, this sounds so familiar. Who yeah, the hell he only is has this? like 10 credits to his name or something like that, which on the one hand, I'm kind of like, oh, I wish they got someone, you know, a bigger name. But on the other hand, I'm like, Oh, cool, you know that they're getting some new talent in there, and this is like a real good showcase for him. And he was really funny. I mean, he oh, was yeah, really, yeah. really funny. Uh, a. Smith Harrison, I think, is what uh, they say. Even when I cry, I sound ridiculous. I love the I -E. I -E. <laughs> So he goes back to having his normal voice. Uh, so that's the first story. Second story um, oh, it's not, uh, is the pinball one where Seuss and uh, uh, Mabel and Dipper get sucked into a pinball machine. Uh, <laughs> what? I need somebody to uh, act distracting and annoying and loud. My time has, has come. come. <laughs> uh, which is one of those where it's like, like watching it, it's not like I laugh super hard or anything, but like, although there were a few times, but have you ever played a pinball game when you were a little kid? Just be like, God, I wish I could run around in there. Like, because they make it look so entertaining. I mean, like, the Simpsons one was amazing. Did you want to walk through that pinball game? You know, uh, the the Simpsons one. All those movie ones from, like, the early 90s. Yeah. The Star Wars, the, uh... Adam's Jurassic Family Park, one. Yeah, Adam's Jurassic Park. Family. The South Park one is great. So it's South like, Park there's one, some yeah. really, because I don't, I don't know if pinball games are really done anymore, but like, they used to put a shit ton of detail into these, and you did kind of want to walk around in them, so th this was a great setup uh, for that, because I'm like, I'm sure somewhere, like, people have done, like, a point of view in a pinball machine or something like that, but I, I don't know, like, this one seems... And just, I, I do love Zeus's little moments, just hushed exclamation of wonder. <laughs> <laughs> um... And, uh, and so they go through that. Zeus, of course, learns a lesson as well about, like, you know, keeping his high score and everything. Uh, and then the last one is about uh, uh, the truth. Damn it, the truth! And Mabel finds these magic teeth. Uh, or I forget, were they, were they made out of something that told the truth? I'm trying to remember now. Um, I, I, they, make, they just make you tell. It's yeah, like they, Wonder Woman's lasso, only it's false teeth. Yeah, that sounds yeah. weird when you say it out and, loud. And they're gold, but... too, actually, I just realized. Yeah, yeah so that's really weird. Uh, maybe a tie-in to Wonder Woman somehow. Tie-in, tie, lasso, rope. It... So You know what? Save it for the bedroom, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so when they go... Uh, so she is tired of Stan lying, so she... <laughs> because he drove around, he wanted to teach a bear the to The bear drive. bit is one of the funniest things I've seen in a cartoon <laughs> ever. Just when he rolls that window down, there's a bear there. Just, <laughs> what seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> well, I can't argue with Dr. Medicine. All right, we gotta get going. <laughs> yeah, you know, to the hospital there. <laughs> I mean, just... Oh, my God. Like, three really strong, great jokes after another in that. 
Uh, it's the surreal non sequiturs that make it. Just <laughs> so, um, so Mabel gets these teeth that have Stan tell the truth, and because she thinks there's never telling the truth is always a good thing. It's never wrong. And Stan tells the truth too many times, gets them in trouble to the point that I think they're threatening suicide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no, a whole bit like, about just like, are we just waiting for the sweet release of death? Is this all there is? They're just like, oh god, oh god, oh god. That especially, I think, is the best example. Um, uh, you know, uh, of just when telling the truth cannot be good. Uh, and so finally she lies in the end to sort of get them out of this predicament and she feels really ashamed. Uh, and then finally at the end, the black hole just throws them out on the other side and Stan falls back in again. Uh, I loved the bits just in the black hole, like when Mabel's like using Dipper as a log and like, yeah. and then Grunkle Sand sign. Dipper's pain is fun, but I feel this isn't going to last long. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the story he makes up about the football bowl or whatever. Thank you, you for it. inventing me, Father. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, but, you know, what's funny? when I first saw this, I was sort of turned off by the fact that it was a, an anthology. Uh, but watching it again, it's actually much better than I remember it. Oh, I like this um, one a lot. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny because they do another one next season, which I think is even better. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's an even better setup. Uh, and, but no, watching this one again, I was sort of like, Boundless Pit, oh yeah, that's right, they tell the stories, I don't really remember what the stories are, but yeah, for some reason, watching it a second time, I'm like, this is much better than I remember. Oh, the, the lifeguard, by the way, is in the bar, um, he, he shows up in our episode, uh, he's one of the tough guys, um, it, it, you'll see later, uh, but the big thing I like about this one is so many kid shows... It, it, you can't fault them too much, but so many kids are always tell the truth, never lie, it's always good. And this the one, moral very... of this one is sometimes lying's okay. Yes, and that's a good moral. And, and and don't get me wrong, kids don't know when to lie yet, so it makes unless, sense of course, to say it's don't in, lie. Unless of course it's an avatar and you're leading a bunch of people through a canyon. Yeah, well that's a wrong time to lie. You know, I mean it's <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like there is a right, there is a time to lie, but it's I hard to hold you to an impossible when. standard of absolutes. How can you? Disagree with Avatar, but agree here. <laughs> it, 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 but like the one that you pointed out with him, like questioning life and depressing Dipper and Mabel. It's like yeah, we. I'm sure everybody gets thoughts like that. Or the guy with the wow, tell look at your ugly face. Yeah, I mean, it's like there are times to either keep the truth or lie and so on and so forth. And I've known people that adults are just like there's never a right time to lie. Always tell the truth, like always. And it, it's not healthy. I mean, there are times where you need to keep stuff away to help move forward, help yourself, help others, whatever. Uh, so lying, I, I mean, even film is, it, it's an illusion, it's a deception and stuff like that, so we can get sucked in. I mean, we know it's not really happening, but I mean, yeah. th there's big aspects to deception and illusion. Or, like, Twincest, I could have lied and said it didn't exist. But you didn't! <laughs> I know! Because I was being honest, like Mabel would have wanted. But See, you should have. It's the you Mabel should've. theme of the day. You, you should have lied about that. Well, like... on a similar note, if it makes you feel any better, a bunch of fans tried to punish me by saying, you think that's bad, you should see something called Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. So... I recommend you go see Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. I am avoiding Dipper no, Goes to no. Taco Bell. And, and when you do, uh, here, take this with you. Oh, this is really, really good stuff. You may want to take this too. Peppermint schnapps will make you forget. Do, do they mix? And enjoy. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, cool, okay. Um, so yeah, still a... Um, so I, I really like the moral of that one the most. Um, but I probably like the uh, the Dipper voice probably made me laugh the hardest. No, I take it back, actually. The, the truth one did make me laugh the hardest just because of the bear. The bear was amazing. <laughs> the bear was amazing. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, when I first saw it, I didn't think that much of it. But something about the second time, it's uh, it, it's actually a really, really good episode. Uh, and, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Your thoughts? Ditto. <laughs> okay. Y you just wanted to wear a sweater. You had, like, Pretty much. Room, just like, yeah, Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So, um, we'll see you next episode, uh, maybe after Dipper goes to Taco Bell. I'm not yeah. watching that, but you can watch it. No, that. please, please do watch it, because I haven't watched it. Uh, well, I don't want to watch it either. I'll tell well, you what. I don't want to watch it. They said Dipper goes to Taco Bell, and I'm like, yeah, that has nothing in it that can be good. I don't like Taco Bell to begin with. Is it even, like, really a thing? Maybe someone just made it up. Maybe it's not even... It Maybe it doesn't know because enough different people, like, other people are just like, oh, my God, Dipper goes to Taco Bell. You are... Oh, no. Oh, no. And I'm just like, yeah, I know enough, like, to be like, I don't need to see this.
Okay, well, it's we're... Taco Bell, they spray meat out of a hose. Oh, I'm sorry, not a hose, a cock gun. They spray meat out of a cock gun. Everything you're saying is just leading to this horrible possibility of what Dipper goes to Taco Bell could be. Uh, I, I can't, I can't imagine. I'm not gonna, so you watch it, have a scotch, and then let me know. I'll tell you what. Because I did twincest for you, okay? I suffered you for your You did sins. twincest, huh? You did twincest? Let me rephrase that. Yeah, <laughs> but it, may, it might be a good idea. Uh, I looked it up because the fans told me about it. Don't blame the messenger, by the way. It was your stupid fans that sent me all this twincest shit. I love the fact that it's like, so in this video we have you saying, I did twincest and I love Mabel. Pretty much. I'm just gonna take those blights in together while in this yeah. getup. Yeah, but I'm dressed as Mabel, so I can't do Mabel being dressed as Mabel. Really, I would have had to have said I did Dipper. In which case, that would be you. And this got awfully awkward. See ya, Taco Bell.